It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks very much for joining us. Once again, we have Duke Tomato and the Power Trio live. The house band today. I'll introduce everybody. Chick McGee's across the way. Hello. At the sports desk, there's Josh Arnold. Hi. Josh is on the road this weekend. Friday and Saturday night, it'll be Lexington, Kentucky at Comedy Off-Broadway. Speaking of comedy in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, our guest in the uh, building, in a separate studio, of course, we have standards. It's comedian Greg Warren. He will be in Louisville at the famous Caravan starting this evening. And then the show's also on Friday and Saturday. Christy Lee's at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Mr. Godwin's in the Oxford Gold Performance Room. Willie G is right next to me. This is Tom speaking. And, of course, we have Eddie Hazel handling the controls back over there with the band with Duke. And uh, Ace Cosby is at the Omaha Stakes. Joke of the day desk. And I think without any further ado, uh, we oh, should uh, perfect. Change, uh, change the pace of the show here. Uh, no, Duke, uh, uh, Duke, thank you very much. We're going to get a song out of Duke in just a minute. But uh, right now, uh, if we could uh, grab the, uh, the ladies for just a, a little bit of something, something. <laughs> With a deep voice. Ace Cosby, here he is with his joke of the day. You know, I was at the grocery yesterday talking to the manager. Oh. When the cashier, she ran up and she goes, two guys just tried to give me fake $50 bills. Manager said, what'd they look like? She said, $50 bills. That was Ace Cosby's joke of the day. <laughs> <laughs> See, Greg, that's how it's done. I've noticed this a lot. This, this is a central theme, a, a basic misunderstanding with... Switcheroonie. The way words are used. Uh -huh. they delivered with great confidence. That was very nice. Unreasonable with some. Uh, once say. again, comedian <laughs> Greg Warren has joined us. He is uh, the man behind the. Where, where does one watch the comedy special in the realm of uh, television, Greg? Uh, Amazon. Amazon Prime. Okay. Yeah. And it's called Where the Field Corn Grows. And uh, now you came up through. Uh, when you started in comedy, did, am I correct in saying you came up through uh, Procter and Gamble? Yeah, they're a comedy training program. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, I was in sales. Um, I sold a number of products. Uh, Jif peanut butter was one. Oh, oh I love those yeah, big yeah. natural yeah, it's a, oh. it's a very exciting. People think that it was like a boring. It was very exciting. Um, I was part of the team that introduced the first, the first low salt, low sugar peanut butter in the category. It was uh, called Simply Jif, uh, targeted towards diabetics. I, I wanted to call it uh, Type 2 Peanut Goo, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't, didn't, didn't want to go. Yeah, it, I always... Um, <laughs> I always felt bad because, you know, we charged the same for crunchy as we did creamy. And if you think about it with crunchy, like, you know, we didn't finish. Yeah. Right? We, we didn't finish uh, making it. You know, I thought about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it should be 50 cents cheap. Sure. It should be. Yes. It should be. There's a lot less labor that goes into it. And that's how it started. This guy, Carl, you know, just stay. They were like, Carl, did you finish smashing up the peanuts? He's like, yeah, yeah, you know, you know, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Jif. Honestly, Jif is uh, it's a, it's a very it's a quality product. Yes, you know I'm, I'm very passionate about it. It was, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it, our motto was choosy moms choose Jif. Right. Sure, right. You know, mm -hmm. not not all moms. Not, you know, choosy mom. Not let's let's say you're a mom who you know drinks in the afternoon <laughs> and uh, goes to the casino and forgets to pick her kids up uh -huh. fr from school. <laughs> By all means, uh, Peter Pan. That's a <laughs> It's a product for you. Now, Let's bring up the competition. Peter Pan. Right. It's 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 a uh, their their mascot is a, a, a boy <laughs> who never grew up. Really? <laughs> Maybe he didn't grow up because he was malnourished. Okay, <laughs> be, be, because he was eating faulty peanut butter. Okay. Uh, a, a boy who can fly. Oh oh oh! Eat our peanut butter and you'll get high. That's a drug message to children, <laughs> and it's irresponsible. It, it uh, you know I I um I also. Also sold uh, Crisco shortening. Oh yeah, yeah. Which was, that was a tough one uh, to come up with a, a health message for. You know, sure. <laughs> yeah, you know, is it, shortening. It's a product name for what it does to your lifespan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, My mama loves shortening. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, but I 
was part of a, a, a genius product intro, uh, Crisco Sticks. We, we uh, No news in the category for 50 years. Then we out of nowhere, we come up with Crisco Sticks. I wasn't aware of these. Guys. Yeah, they're like butter. It, the, exactly, uh -huh. Christy. It looks like butter. Yep. It's in a butter sort of shape. Sure. There are um, little tablespoon markers mm -hmm. so you could cut it like you would butter. Yeah. And yeah. people ask me, they're like, you know, hey, Greg, uh, with all this packaging, it's probably much higher per ounce than the three-pound tub. I'm like... It's it's a lot higher, but I mean, you're eating shortening. You, you don't have a lot longer to live. Like you spend your money. I mean, this it, this is a thing. You know, it's uh, I um, and I, people like uh, it was hard to explain my job to people. Like um, people that uh, they they didn't really understand it. You know, you know the guy that I told you about a, a few uh, a couple months ago, Freddie, the guy that I um, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Freddie DeMarco, Pat worked for him, the club oh, yeah. comedy club owner. My friend Freddie, the Italian guy. You know, he, Greg, I, you know, I, I, you know, yeah, I, I don't think you're in sales, Greg. I mean, I don't think you sell anything. I've been going to the grocery store for forty years, and they have Pringles. I mean, wait, wait, you're not selling them Pringles; they already have them. I'm like, no, Freddie, it's that's distribution. That's one of the sales controllables, okay? But there's also uh, pricing and shelving. I mean, how do they do? They put on the bottom shelf. Is it a four foot top to bottom rip? Ribbon. I mean, and then there's promotion, which is comprised of feature and, and display. Freddie, I'm in charge of huh. all the in-store presence of the brand. So, what, are you like a stock boy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a stock boy, Freddie. No, no, you, you, you like you dust off the shelves and stuff? I'm like, no, I don't. I mean, yes, I have dusted off shelves, but I, I, I don't dust off. You're, you're a stock boy, Greg. Don't, don't be ashamed of it. It's not a bad thing. Just keep working hard. Maybe they'll promote you up to check or a bagger or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a stock boy. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, that's good voice, all right. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Greg Warren. And once again, Greg is on his way to the Commonwealth of Kentucky. <laughs> uh, Tom. In Louisville this evening and, and Saturday, and, uh, Friday and Saturday. Yes, sir. Yeah, I did want to point. I, I guess, the, you know, my, my friend, in quotes, Josh, uh, decided that, you know, his one... <laughs> One show of the year would be during the same weekend that I was in, in you know, um, uh, an hour away. Uh -huh. okay. Josh has been cashing fat radio checks the whole COVID. I, you know, I've been struggling. I finally need to get out on the road and make some money. And Josh, well, let me see if I can throw a wrench into that. Oh, and, and, and I know you guys are creating a big competition here. And Josh is winning. I, I read oh, sure. the comments. I read Chick's. Chicks, everybody what, comments what, to what's Chick. Happening? What's happening? Yeah, they, they, you know, they, they Chick posted the, you know, uh, Josh versus Greg, and everybody's on Josh's side. Oh, yeah. Aww. Except for one guy who said, uh, I'm going to go see Warner. <laughs> <laughs>
gentlemen, Greg Warren and the clarinet. Yeah! I think that's a flute, Tom. <laughs> He's still got it, everybody. I wish he was. I wish he was not playing a lot more of them. <laughs> uh, okay. Stick. <laughs> yeah. No idea what was going on there. Well, that's uh, why next, oh, uh, Greg wants to know what the next tune is. <laughs> hey, hi, Tom here. It's going to be, let's see, Willie and uh, Jeff Oskey and Pat Godwin live at the Irving Theater this Friday night for a special benefit comedy show. Hope you can be there. Go to eventbrite.com to get tickets. It's gonna be a fun, funky evening of comedy and all the money is gonna to go to send some kids to summer camp. We all love summer camp. Let's send a few kids there. Join us at the Irving Theater. Go to eventbrite.com and thanks. Some, some music here or something. Yeah, I was, hoping, uh, I was hoping you could do one of the classes. Can you uh, tie us all up for a moment? Is that going to work for sure, you guys? Yeah, absolutely. You're the, you know, it's your show, damn it. <laughs> Tim, Tom, Tom. In 
the Commonwealth of Kentucky. <laughs> it is a fact. Friday and Saturday, you can go see Josh Arnold forget his act. <laughs> see good comedy and laugh the night away, well, come see me in Lexington at Comedy Off-Broadway. You want to hear a speech, uh -oh. something dry and boring, go to Louisville, Kentucky and see Greg Warren. supposed to write something? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, hey, uh, you guys, why don't you shut up, Josh? <laughs> he, he got me, guys. Yeah. <laughs> keep, keep shutting up, Josh. <laughs> How, how's that? Uh, well, you got to rhyme it with something, Josh rhymes. Yeah, no, I rhyme Josh, Josh and Josh. <laughs> the bold move. <laughs> <laughs> and then there, there used to be a tool called Bosch. I'm gonna tie you up. I'm gonna tie you up. Have you had enough yet? I'm yes, gonna tie you up. I got one. Chris, yeah. oh, Chris, oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. I, I don't do this very well, but. <laughs> Give it a shot. This weekend in Kentucky, Josh and Greg will be getting funky. <laughs> yeah. Whichever you choose. You certainly can't lose. <laughs> That's all I got. Yeah! Yeah! I'm on one side. Drop the mic, Chris. Drop the mic. I'm on one side. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. You know, you go see Josh's show in Lexington, and it'll be a real uh, burn barner. Yeah. Uh, and for all you people following Chick on Twitter, my name's not Warner. Very nice. This is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Sully a piece of fine art like this. <laughs> Who's next? I think we're done. Well, you know, oh. Greg Warren may be a better bang for your buck, <laughs> but Josh hasn't done it in a while. I'm going to see him suck. <laughs> That's unbelievable. <laughs> Two, God Duke, I can do one more if that's okay. Okay, go ahead, Willie. No shows for Willie G this weekend. You can don't want to be a grouch. So if you want to see the kid from Indy, you can find me smoking weed on my couch. Yeah! Good to have goals. That's how you are. <laughs> I think this song's been destroyed enough where it's going to end it. All right. Made a commercial. Woo! Oh. All right. Duke. Yeah, man! Dude, you made it on the power yeah, trio. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. James Hill on the uh, keyboards, Bill Ritter on the bass, Joe Maddox on the drums, and Duke Tomato, guitar, vocal, and uh, composer, please. We have to revisit the news desk with Christy Lee. What have we missed? Well, we've missed a lot of stuff. A Louisiana man went fishing while stuck in traffic. 
WVUE reports. News with a vision of news at the speed of time and sound. A crash involving a multiple 18-wheeler <laughs> shut down the Bonnet Care spillway for five hours. So one man who was stuck on the bridge during the backup grabbed his fishing pole, left his vehicle, and cast off into the water below. Ahoy! Why, why not? Ahoy! <laughs> What's that when, what is, this, if, what is the phrase, when... When life gives you lemons. Make lemonade? Make a shore lunch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no word on whether he caught any fish. You'd think that... I don't would've... know when the first time it was you mentioned shore lunch, but it was the first time <laughs> I'd, I'd ever heard it. Me too. It was. It's amazing. I don't know what it is, but you insist everyone should do it, and if they haven't done it, they should go do it. If you go fishing, you have a shore, you have shore have, lunch. Yeah, yeah, my shore dad lunch. did that. See? He did not, you kiss Yes, ass. he did. Yes, he did. did it. Him and my brother went up to Canada, chick. Why don't you shut up? <laughs> hey, why don't you go straight to hell, you weird Hey, ear. guys, stop it. You weird <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me put you in time out. Well, also, not to kind of, not to, you know, Dad, not to you know, go against you, but when we used to go fishing on your brother's boat, we used to get deli sandwiches from the liquor store in Harbor Spring Gurney's. We wouldn't even have I knew it. I knew it. Oh, oh, oh. I yeah. loved it because I was a kid and I got to go in the liquor oh, store. Yeah. And, sure. You know, you're not allowed in You're a lion you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you can smell the dude. Boy, oh, boy. A shore lunch of a, a subway. I'm sorry, How do you Pop. know Tom's lion? He's talking. That's how you know. <laughs> a whopper. Sure. Watch the entire show live.